Babe, we're still missing your uh, earrings. <gasps> it's really a lot to be a woman. God, I'm impressed. Like, it's expensive being a woman. Whew. Hmm. I'm too tall for the mirror, guys. I mean, first of all, the dress was 5K. The makeup was 3K. The hair was 2K. I think Marilyn cost me like 20,000. Welcome to Freddie Monroe. Guys, it's time to sell this house. This is cute and all, but I'm doing it for real purpose. This is gonna go viral all over the world. wearing a wool suit in 110 degree weather. Kiss. Okay, I gotta go mingle. <laughs> is this from my mother's closet? Yes. I mean, yes. I dressed as Howard Hughes because it required very little effort since I'm wearing clothes that I would wear on a regular day anyway. Not the mustache though. How are you doing, Norma Jean? I'm good. I've never done this ever. It's quite empowering, I have to say. Very I never sexy. worn a wig before. I realized that it's that's why that you sweat so much. Me. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I know you have the buyer for this. You know, I have a, a lovely gay couple that are looking in this area right now. For a fifty million, million dollar house in Las Vegas. Well, not not at that Listen, price. I acknowledge we're going out a little higher, but if these walls could talk, then, well, then they would the say to you. Then Johnny. they would say to you that they're overpriced. What the. F is he listing a property for 50 million when it's worth five? It was actually at one time a beautiful 1920s Mediterranean that was completely bastardized. Julia. What's up, Joshi? What's up? Come on in. Wow, what an entrance. So you're actually one of the first people to come through here. We have not gone to market yet, so I'm pumped to show it to you. Chase. What's up? Good What's happening, guys. man? Good to see you. Thanks for coming up. Appreciate it. So I wanted to get you up here because I know that you have clients looking in the area in this price range. Well, my buyers are looking for something modern, extravagant, and warm. I mean, yeah. you just you just described this place exactly. So I'll give you a little quick overview here. We got 18,000 square feet. The layout gets perfect for a family of seven or it's also perfect for that bachelor that just wants to entertain. This is a less formal area. Right. I like it because you're surrounded by all the green. You have big time mm -hmm. privacy here. Here, come on out here. For me, I mean, it's cool because this is like one of the most iconic buildings that you see. You got a straight shot of the Getty, completely wow. unobstructed. Wow. How long has it been on the market for? So it's not on the market yet. So uh, if you like it, you gotta buy it. <laughs> We're gonna take a book. Yeah, it's perfect, exactly. What are you asking on this? So we're asking 48 million. Oof. We figured about 2,200 a foot. The only thing, this is a, a spec house. At the end of the day, it's risky. At 48 million, there's plenty of people moving to Miami, Texas. I'm seeing a lot of the major sales happening are actually more local people than you would imagine. Yeah. But also some people up north and then people from the east coast that want the sun and the fun and are tired of living in their apartments. For sure. We have a company by the name of Living the Dream, so we have about 30 single family houses all over LA. Oh, nice. We manage over a quarter billion worth of real estate, so that could be one of the... Yeah, something like to that. add to the portfolio. Living the Dream, I, I sell the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think about the offers? Like, do you think they're gonna be higher of the asking price maybe, or? Fingers crossed. I will say this. I do think we're gonna be receiving more than two. So that's why I decided to put an offer deadline because then all of them are gonna be forced to write and put something together for us to look at today. It makes people feel like if there's an offer deadline, there must be more than one offer, so we should put our best foot forward. What time is their deadline? That deadline is in exactly 24 minutes. Once they are all coming in, Shelby is gonna deliver the news of all of the offers. And then we can assess on how we wanna go back to them. And you know, I happen to be wearing a particular pair of shoes. I don't know if you noticed. Oh wow, you came prepared. Are you a dancer? I mean, you know, I do hip hop and stuff. Ballroom is nothing like hip hop. 
That's what I've heard. But I feel <laughs> confident that with a little lesson from you guys, you know, while we're waiting. And the fact that Gleb and Elena can not only be in the same room together. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, okay. But they're so cordial, which makes my job so much easier. I mean, if I had to be my agent during my divorce, I mean, that's like definitely like an uptick in the commission. And you're gonna start with your right foot back. We're gonna go one, and you're gonna continue forward two. Oh, okay. Right, so one, one, and two, and three, and four. See, I got that. The next one is called crossbody lead with the turn. Start with the right foot back, and turn under the arm, and we're just gonna repeat, but without a turn, so we'll come back. You're very fast, Gleb. Slow down right, a little. Okay. This, I'm old. Okay, I'm just waiting for those offers. Like, I'm like, <laughs> let's go. We only have 10 minutes left. Okay.